Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today this is the pattern that we're going to draw. So I set my little boogie board aside and I'm going to use a piece of gray cardstock and I've just rounded the edges. I have a um, a punch that makes this size exactly and rounds the edges all at once. It's like one big paper punch. So if I could find that, I'll link that below on Amazon. It's a cool, it's a good size for Zentangle. Okay, this is a grid pattern. So I will just start. I'm using kind of a fairly thicker micron. I think it's an old five or something so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So we'll just start by making a grid like this. Okay, and then after that, the way I do it is I just kind of make these diamond shapes. See, like this. And it won't work here, so we just skip and go like that. And there's none here. Hope this makes sense. Just make the diamond. This is just the way I draw it. I'm not exactly sure about the step out because I can't remember it. Well, okay. So now, again. Like this. And one more time. Like that. And then after that, what we can, what, let me see, what's the next step I would do is you just simply, in the middle, well, we can start at the top, cut that little pie in half, and then just kind of fill it in with lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't even have to go in halvesies if you don't want. Like this. Rotate your work, that always helps. You're just like filling in these circles from the center point. Like this. And then you do, you know, this one and this one. And it's like a grid, but I'll show you that if you're only doing half, you would just do the same thing. See? Like that. And you just fill in all of these throughout the whole pattern. So I have to do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So I'll do that real quick since I already demonstrated it, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm leaving a, I'm kind of leaving mine open-ended because I have an idea of how I'm going to continue this drawing. But, you know, you would just do it on a grid. You'd close it if you wanted. So that's, just ignore that part. <laughs> so now the next step is really easy and fun, too. And you would just echo those lines like that. And do it in each little area. Like this. Keep going along. And you do it for this one and then these here. And I'm going to show now before I start shading, but you can color in this area right here. 
see, and then color, you'd color in the middle, kind of like that. Kind of make it kind of sketchy if you want. So I'm going to do all of those and I will be right back and we'll get started on the shading. Okay, and now here I'm going to just kind of very lightly just kind of just add a little bit of like light strokes. Because when I shade this, that will help. So I'm just almost like making like a little furry area to this furry area. That doesn't even make sense. Um, you can see what I'm... It's hard to explain and draw and, you know, everything at once. It really is hard to do this sometimes. And I'm a little bit out of the groove because I haven't done this much lately like I usually do. So now we will move on to the shading. Okay, now I'm going to use a Charcoals General's White. I have this in my Amazon store too, if you want to check that out. And I'm going to, because this is a great pencil to have, especially working on darker paper, just kind of shade some of this first with white. Like that. And then I'm going to take my blending stump and just smooth it out. Just take my time. You don't have to add a, a ton and it's a little bit tight in these areas. And just keep coloring that in. Careful, try not to hit the black lines too much because you'll have to go over them because they might get covered up a little bit. But this does erase, so you can erase if you need to. So see like that, color that in, actually these little, give a little highlight there too. And take my clean blending stump and just blend, blend, blend. Blend it out like that. So I will do each one of these the exact same way and I'll be right back. Okay, now why don't we take, I'm going to take a 4B pencil and just add some shading all along here, very lightly. Actually, that was a little bit dark. Just go all around like this. And I'll show you with the blending stump. We will just take and lightly blend it out. Like that. Keep going. And here too. So I'll do that on the rest of these, and I'll be right back. Here it is all done, guys. Um, I hope you like it. I, I like working with gray paper. It's a lot of fun. It's a change. So if you did like this, please hit the like button, and I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching. Bye.